In this video, we're going to look at how to use the regression formulas that are on the AP formula sheet to help find the line of best fit. Now, if you have the data, you can find the line of best fit by doing a regression on your calculator. So we're going to do that first. Um, enter the data, percent unemployed and number of murders into your calculator. Um, I already have mine in, so I would suggest that you go ahead and pause your video and do that right now. Then we will go on to doing a linear regression. Now we could do this on make a scatter plot and do the regression on the calculator. You can do and find the line of best fit that way. But I want to actually do it on the calcul on a calculator page. So I'm going to add a page, control doc, add a calculator page, and I'm going to do a linear regression on the calculator uh, page. So I'm going to go to menu six one, and then if you go down to see number four. Linear regression A plus BX, that's the one I'm going to use. Um, X list, um, we're going to do percent unemployed, and Y list, murder rate, and you will see then these values. So I'm going to copy and paste these. Um, what I suggest then is you go in and fill in the values on your uh, worksheet that have A, B, R squared, R, and we I will do the same. And it, um, I'm going to pause the video and get that taken care of right now. Okay, so just take a minute, make sure you have the same values I have. So I can write the equation of the regression line from this. I know what my correlation is. I know what r squared is. Now I want to do uh, something else with this data, and I'm actually going to change what it says here. I'm actually going to do two variable stats, uh, which allows me to find the mean of the x and the mean of the y variables in one step. So on the calculator, go back to here on the calculator page once again we're going to go to menu six one and then number two and my x list i have percent unemployed and the y list i have murder rate and when we do this um, you'll see then that we can find um, the mean of the x standard deviation of the x i'm going to use s of x not not sigma so this is uh, sample versus population mean of y and standard deviation of y. So once again, um, I want you to get those four values recorded using all the decimal places um, on your paper. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it on here to help me kind of copy this over. And I'm going to pause the video and write these values. Okay, once again, double check that your numbers are the same. Number three says to make a scatter plot of the data. Um, and I'm not going to do that right now because this is something, this was actually a worksheet from something else that I did uh, in another year. And I, we've already done enough scatter plots. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and record R once again down here so I can see it. Um, and I don't have to keep sc scrolling up and, it, up and down because I'm going to need R for the next part of what I'm going to do. Okay, so here are five, variable, five uh, variables here. That relate, that relate to our x and y. Um, so here are the three formulas that you will find on the AP formula sheet. Um, if you look at the actual AP formula sheet, um, you'll see other, other equations too that have to do with regression, but these are the three that you are most likely to ever have to use. The first one just shows the regression equation, so let's define a few of these variables. B sub zero is the y-intercept, b sub 1 is the slope, and then x and y, of course, are your variables. y hat means the predicted y. Now, the reason we use b0 and b1 for y-intercept and slope is because of something in statistics that is outside the scope of this course, but you can actually have multiple explanatory variables. So in that case, you'd have something like b sub 0 plus b1 times x sub 1 plus b2 times x sub 2 plus b3 times x sub 3, where x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 would be three different variables that all affected the response variable. We don't do that in AP stats. It's a little more advanced uh, statistical technique, but that's why it's written that way instead of just b and m for slope like we did in uh, Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. Um, R is the correlation. S, Y, and S of X are the standard deviations of S and of S and or sorry of the Y and the X, um, and then X bar and Y bar, of course, are the mean mean of the the two variables. 
So how do we go about using just these five numbers to get the equation of the line? Now, you think, why do I need those? Why do I need to use those formulas? I already know the equation of the line. I figured it out using, I've got the slope and the y-intercept doing a regression on my calculator. Well, I had all of the raw data. Sometimes you're not given the raw data. Sometimes you're only given these five numbers, the statistics about the data, and asked to find the equation of, of the line of best fit. So in order to do that, I would start with this equation. Number one, I would start by finding the slope because the slope is based on the correlation, 0.864841, times the standard deviation of x, sorry, standard deviation of y, because we're doing change in y over change in x, over the standard deviation of x. So calculating that, I get 7.0754. Now that's one decimal place different than what I got when I did the regression up here. I got 955 here, I got 954. It's just because these numbers have been rounded and truncated. They're not the entire number, they're just whatever decimal places my calculator displays. So no big deal, remember statistics is not exact anyway. Next equation I'm going to use is to, this last equation to find the y-intercept. There's a piece of information I have not yet told you, and that is that the point x bar, y bar, the mean of x and the mean of y, that point is always on the regression equation. So let's write that down. x bar, y bar is always a point on the regression equation, or I should say the regression line. Okay, so this is a point on the regression line. So remember from Algebra 1, if I knew, um, if I am trying to find the equation of a line and I know the slope and I know x, a point values for x and y, I can figure out the y-intercept. So this equation is just saying I know the point x bar, y bar, I know the slope, and I can solve this equation here to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to substitute y bar, which is 20.57 minus the slope 7.07954 and I'm going to use the value I found up here because that's what I would have done with the equations here and then um, x bar is 6.935 so calculating b sub 0 then I get negative 28.5267 once again that is the same uh, that's just one actually I think I got 0.66 now that I think about it. I think I got 0.66 when I actually did this on the calculator, or maybe 0.68. Oh shoot, I'll probably ought to calculate it just a second. It's 0.66, or 0.5266. So once again, just slightly off from what I got doing the regression, once again because of rounding. So now that I know these two values, I can use my third equation and say, okay, now I know what the equation of the regression line is. Y hat is equal to negative 28.5266 minus 7 point, no, plus, sorry, it's positive, 7.07954 times x. And of course, I should identify my variables. y hat is the predicted murder rate per million per year, per million people per year and x equals the percent unemployment. Okay. So this is how you use these formulas. They're not difficult to use. You don't have to have them memorized because they will always be provided on the AP formula sheet for you. You just need to know how to use them.